this is kind of the wild west in solar. Um, the industry is kind of it's, it's constantly flexing and constantly changing. What differentiates us is that we are kind of the whole package. We're working on uh, providing the total, the total solar package as opposed to we're not a solar panel provider. We began uh, in, in uh, like 2007 as a provider of basically the leasing instead of having to buy the panels, you know, taking the energy, leasing, uh, leasing the panels, taking the energy from there and, you know, and being able to purchase the power that you're generating. Welcome to Business Ninjas, brought to you by Write For Me, where you'll hear from business leaders who are out there growing their business and slaying it every day. Learn from the masters. Let's get started. All right, Joe, thanks for joining us today on Business Ninjas. We appreciate your time. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for having me. You bet. Let's knock out all the basics first. So why don't you give us your, your full name, your role in the company, the name of the company, and the website where everybody can find you. Okay. I'm Joe Sales Jr. I'm a senior digital marketing manager in paid search. Basically, it means I work with Google Ads and Bing Ads. And uh, I work for the company is Sunrun, uh, Sunrun Solar Company. We are uh, the number one residential solar company in the United States. And our our um, home URL is sunrun.com. All right, great. And where, where are you guys based? Where's the company headquarters? It's, it's interesting because we are a mixed force. Um, I work remotely. I'm in uh, Southern Nevada. We actually have headquarters in San Francisco. We started in, in the state of California with a second headquarters, if you will, kind of a, a secondary headquarters that's in uh, Lehigh, Utah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so we're right. Silicon Valley and snow, what do they call it? Silicon Valley and, and Silicon Slopes. That's what Silicon they call it. Slopes. Right. Yeah, that's, that's the nickname I've heard of uh, the area where a lot of tech companies in Utah is. Nice. And why don't you give us a little background, a little bit of the info on your career arc to bring you to the present opportunity? <laughs> Picture a big giant mess, a puzzle, and all of a sudden it started taking shape, and here I am. Nice. I uh, was ran martial arts studios and taught elementary school. That's basically how I got to this point. In fact, in 2000, I'll never forget, I had a 10-year-old boy when I was teaching school, he told me, he uh, told me about Google. He says, don't use Alta Vista, Alta Vista or whatever it was, use Google. So that was my first introduction to Google was in 2000. And then uh, I also at night, I ran martial arts, uh, a martial arts studio. I did martial arts. Uh, basically, the marriage of those two things started at that point. And, and um, I went, I built a website for my martial arts studio. Uh, that martial art website, I realized people were finding me like it was the phone book or something. Aha, the light bulb goes on, marketing. So a few years later, I'm no longer teaching, I'm no longer doing a martial arts studio. Um, I actually am running a martial arts supply store online. And when I'm running the martial arts supply store online, I'm like, okay, I built a website. That was fun, I enjoyed it. And I had done a few other websites and then it was like, what now? How do I get people to come to the website? I'll never forget it because I wanted to sell martial art products for my wife. I wanted to be selling them in time to have money for my wife's birthday. So instead, the site went on before her birthday, like five days before, and it didn't have business until the day of her birthday. So it, it was kind of a funny thing. But that's what got me into uh, online uh, e-commerce, if you will. And from there, I realized after a few years of outsourcing and everything else, I said, I need to know how to do this stuff for myself. So I got trained. Um, that was back in 2010. I got officially licensed between 2010 and 2012, um, went through a, an official course and started working uh, for different companies at that point. Great. All right. So you've been at it for quite a while. I'm sure you've seen big changes in the way that they <laughs> shifted the marketplace too. Yep. Uh, we all get to enjoy that. It's um, funny because we were, I remember as a school teacher, they used to always, you used to hear them say, you're, you're going to be a lifelong learner. I was a jock. I was a dumb jock in high school. That's the way I mean, not dumb, but you know, I was a jock in high school. I didn't want to be a lifelong learner. And so what do I do? I get into digital marketing. And what is digital marketing about? It's about change. If you're not on top of what the changes are, you're going to have a harder time doing it. So yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Almost on a weekly basis. It, feels like <laughs> it really times. is. Yeah. And so you gave us a brief description of the company. What's what's the full on elevator pitch? And um, maybe you can let us know geographically how far you've uh, got reach. We've got reach across the United States. I think we were literally in 34 states. Um, wow. 
yeah, we're, we're, we're something like that in 34 states or something like that. I know we're across the nation, so we're pretty big. Like I said, we're the number one in residential solar. Um, you know, our, 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 we're basically helping to keep the, we, we want to really promote being green. That's really a large part of what we're doing is trying to change the structure of, you know, the reliance on how the utility companies are built and everything and take advantage of things like the sun and be able to convert the energy that we have in the sun from the sun to be able to be useful energy and reduce the you know emissions and things of that nature. So, you know, our, our, our elevator pitch is, is uh, you know, I had something in mind that I was gonna say earlier. I don't really have anything right this second to say it other than, you know, we're about going green. The company's about going green, totally about going green. I mean, our, our headquarters, our two headquarters is in San Francisco, like the hub of going green, you know? So yeah, um, um, that's what we're about. That's really what we're promoting to people. And we're promoting, you know, um, taking um, less of the earth's, res the, the earth's resources and more of the easy resources to convert into energy. And, and you know, like we, like I heard it said recently, or I, I heard it said within the company, I think it's uh, one day's worth of sun could power, power the whole earth for a year or something like that. I, I don't remember exactly how it goes, but I'm like, wow, you know, one day's worth of sun, how much energy that really is that we're, that we're not taking advantage of that's easy to come by, you know? Right, yep. Yeah, interesting. And how do you differentiate yourselves from the competition that's out there? You know, this is kind of the wild west in solar. Um, the industry is kind of, it's, it's constantly flexing and constantly changing. I can't give you our secret sauce right. because we have some things that are particularly unique to us. But uh, what I can say is what differentiates us is that we are kind of the whole package. We're working on uh, providing the total, the total solar package as opposed to we're not a solar panel provider. We began uh, in, in uh, like 2007 as a provider of um, basically the leasing, instead of having to buy the panels, you know, taking the energy, leasing, uh, leasing the panels, taking the energy from there and, you know, and being able to purchase the power that you're generating. Right. Um, so, so that, that's how we started differentiating ourselves is continuing to grow, uh, particularly at this day and age, we're kind of a total package because there's a lot of components. There's a lot of pro uh, parts, um, moving parts that are part of the solar, um, package. They say it's solar system, but I always think as a school teacher, a uh, solar system yeah. and science, it means another thing, but basically, you know, there, there's, you know, you have your panels, you have your, your inverters, your batteries, you know, different parts, and we're offering um, solutions so that you have everything, you know, kind of an all-in-one source. Gotcha. Okay. And I'm sure, um, you know, like every other company and individual out there, the COVID era was uh, an interesting time to navigate your way through and, and help support your customers through that. What was that experience like? I wasn't with the company at that time. What I hear, though, is that it was a time of, of growth still for our company. Yeah. Um, I know that during that time frame, somewhere during that time frame, we um, partnered or, or not partnered, we acquired uh, Vivid Solar and so merged that company with ours. In fact, we had a big marketing uh, offsite for the last couple of days, and they talked about the time frame when those two merged and took kind of the best of both worlds and merged them into what we are today. Great. And, I came on after that time, which is part of the mindset that where we're going at this day and age is, you know, is that we are really, uh, really working on, uh, you know, focus on the consumer and, 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 you know, giving the consumer, you know, helping the consumer understand what our industry is about and how it's going to benefit them and how we're, we're making a greener planet by staying focused in this area. So, that, gotcha. you know. And is there, for the consumers that are out there, I'm sure there's a sweet spot for you in the market or, you know, is there a, a, a prototypical ideal customer that, that you work well with and, you know, what are they trying to accomplish and how are you guys helping them out? Yeah. One of the, one of the things I would say is that we're definitely focused on homeowners and the homeowners are typically, so, you know, a lot of times are very focused on, you know, a, a greener environment without getting into how we set up our buyer personas and, and things of that nature. I yep. say they're really, uh, wanting a, a cleaner planet and they want to be able to provide, you know, the best solutions, you know, the, the latest and greatest ease and doing it, you know, taking power off the grid, taking a little bit of control of the energy back to themselves rather than relying on the, you know, the utility companies and things of that nature. So if you get in, you know, we see the news briefs daily and it's kind of interesting the battle with the, 
you know, the utility companies and them trying to understand where they fit in with solar because everybody can get folks, if you, as long as you got the panels and you got this, you know, have the equipment, you can turn around and get solar and have energy without having to deal with it. You know, you could be off grid. So um, we're about, you know, putting together mini grids uh, to help the major grids. And that's where the, the industry is growing right now is how we can partner with the utility companies and back and forth. And there's a lot of discussion that's different in state by state, but there's a lot of that going on. And it's been really helpful in places like California where you have the rolling blackouts and things yeah. of that nature where, you know, the grid's been over, over, overused, you know. So with what we are offering, we have the ability to provide, you know, um, during peak performance, if you have the system where you're able to capture the energy, you know, the solar energy, store it, hold on to it, then we can sell it back to the grid or, or give it back to the grid or however it works out because that's not my area of expertise, but it goes, it can go back to the grid and go back. You know, the consumers can, can benefit by quote, selling it back to the, you know, selling the energy back to the, so to, to the utility companies. And there's all kinds of different ways it works. It works differently in, in each state. Interesting. Yeah. I'm sure they're regulated differently everywhere you go. Right. Yeah. What, and what's the outreach strategy for the company? You've got this big, you know, footprint out there. So I'm, I'm sure you're active all over the place. What social media channels are you guys active on? Well, the big five for sure. You know, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on TikTok. Uh, you know, I can't go out there and, you know, I've verified some of these just to make double sure. But, you know, Pinterest, I know we're there. Uh, Twitter, we're there. We're definitely, if it's if it's out there and it's it's a popular, powerful social media site, you can bet we're on it. Um, I, I neglected uh, YouTube. It's funny that I neglected YouTube. I don't think of that in the vein of social media sites usually, but it's one of the biggest ones. So, you know. Yep. Great. Definitely find out about us there. All right. Well, it sounds like it's been a wild ride so far and the rest of the year is going to be interesting as well. So, like you said, it's the wild west. So it's going to be fun to see where you guys go for the rest of the year. Thanks for stopping by today. Absolutely. Absolutely. I enjoyed it.